You know, Raiders fans, you go from the highest of highs last week in a defeat to the lowest of lows right now in a loss to the Falcons. Uh, there's five minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Um, it's 43-6. to six. That's right, I said it, 43-6. to six. And you knew this game mean a lot to a lot of the team because you got Jonathan Hankins basically in tears over there while Jonathan Abrams trying to console them because... He knew how important this game was to the Raiders' season going forward. And to be honest with you, the offense and defense laid a complete egg um, out there. And, you know, uh, I've always been a Derek Carr apologist, but he laid an egg out there big time. To lose three fumbles um, and just for the offense to play as bad as they did, uh, it was not good. It was not good, and uh, before we get into the actual content of the video, I don't know how much more I'm going to be able to say about it, but uh, thank you guys for watching. I'm sorry there wasn't a live stream today. It's just you got to understand during the holidays with uh, the company I work for, I work for a federal shipping company that is uses express shipping. Uh, we work six days a week, almost 12 to 14 hours a day, so... On Sundays, sometimes it's tough for me to get up for those 1 o'clock games, and I apologize. But um, I did wake up for the end of the first quarter to now, and uh, I'm borderline disgusted because what happened here is the same thing that happened last year for the Raiders when they went to the Jets at 6-4 and four and got absolutely annihilated by the Jets. And the season was never the same. Now, this team is different. There's different players. Some players are more mature. Some players are better than what we had. But still, it just seems so eerie and almost the same kind of outcome where... Is the season over? I don't think it is. But the problem is now is the Raiders need to go 5-0, and minimal 4-1 and to make the playoffs. They go to 6-5, and there's five games to go, and you want to forget about this game, but you got to look at it from, they came to Atlanta and they laid an egg. Derek Carr fumbled three times, threw a pick six, Jacobs had a bad fumble, uh, you know, guys were missing passes. Uh, offensive linemen were missing their assignments. The offense is the one thing that the Raiders fans uh, have had no trouble with, have had no problems with because we've been putting up, you know, 25 to 30 to 40 points a game. And the way they played last week, if they continued that, Going forward, they would have been 6-0 and in these final games. But they didn't. They came out and they laid a complete egg. And, you know, the offense is going to shoulder a lot of that blame, and they should, especially number four. And I don't think he's going to get benched. I don't think he's going to do anything. Nothing's going to happen to him because he's had such a, a good year statistically and with his record. But overall... Number four has got to look in the mirror and say, what the hell just happened? Because he's got to suck it up, and he's got to go play the Jets this upcoming week uh, in the Meadowlands where they had their horrible showing uh, last time. So it's going to be very interesting to see how John Gruden and the coaching staff and the offense as a whole what they do to adjust to be better next week. Um, there really wasn't any bright spot on the offense. Maybe that Henry Ruggs had three catches, but that's about it because Darren Waller was barely targeted. Uh, Nelson Aguilar did what he was supposed to do. He had, uh, I think he had six or seven catches for just under 70 yards. Um, really nothing to write home about. No. And, and the big questions going into this game against the Jets is, Josh Jacobs' injury? Is he that bad? Is it that bad where he's not going to play against the Jets? And 
could you say to him that, oh, well, he was not going to play against the Jets because the Jets will rest him and play Devontae Booker. That's not the way it should be. He should be playing every game if he's ready to go because you can't let a player like that go cold um, and then just come back into a next game and just be the same player. Uh, you know, it just, um, to me, it just seems like this could have been the worst possible outcome, and it happened. It happened. The Raiders are now 6-5. and five. They get dominated by a 3-7 team. I will say that I will repeat what John Gruden said, that the Falcons are probably the best 3-7 and seven team in the league. They're probably better than some teams who have winning records, honestly. And I guess you can put a little bit into that to think, well, the Raiders played a great team. They traveled to the East, blah, 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 blah. No. I don't want to hear it. This team is supposed to be different. And it is supposed to be different. And this is exactly what sometimes, unfortunately, Raiders football does. They get to a point where they're sitting pretty, and then all of a sudden they fall apart. And that is just not acceptable. And I know a lot of Raider fans are upset. I know the comments are going to be nasty. But honestly, after this game, we have to forget about it. And we have to move on to New York. Because if you, if you harp on this game, this could be the end of the season before the season's even over. And I just think that you really can't and don't want to remember this game. You just want to, you just want to bury the ball. Forget about it. Don't worry about it. But hopefully, these Raiders players, young and veteran, are mentally tough to forget about this game, and can move on to play the Jets. Now, I hope they know that after this game, they better not underestimate any team, not just the Jets, not just the Bengals, not just anybody, any team. They need to not underestimate because. Any team on any given Sunday can win a football game. Any team on any given day can win a football game. So, you know, and, and you, you say, why would you mention the defense? What was the defense supposed to do? They were given a short field four times. There's nothing they could really do. The one thing I did like seeing was Jeff Heath was out there more than Eric Harris. I'm not sure if Eric Harris was injured. Uh, but, you know, the only thing I got coming out of the defense was um, how is Damon Arnett doing? Because he's out, pretty nasty hit, pretty nasty concussion. They stopped the game to pull him out of the game. That's how woozy he was. And I just think that if he's not in there, you've got Isaiah Johnson... You've got Amik Robinson, who won't be taking over that position. But he is another cornerback. You've got Nixon, and you've got Nevin Lawson. And I will say this, Isaiah Johnson did get a few penalties. So maybe it's Lawson time. You don't know. You don't know, Raider Nation, because that was such a bad game. You don't know what to think on either side of the football because the they really haven't played a game like this all season. They really haven't. Even the losses that they've had, they really haven't played this bad. It's true. They really haven't. I just think that we vented a little bit here. We're upset with number four. We're upset with the offense. We're upset with the team overall for laying a dud in a game where they should be 7-4 and four instead of 6-5. and five. For them to put up only six points against a team like this, not acceptable. But... You've got to bury the ball and remember that it's only one week. Six and five, we're still above 500. We're still in the playoff hunt. We just got to work extra hard and go five and zero, oh and hopefully, or four and one, and hopefully some other teams lose because I think they will. You know, I, I really do. I think because the you know the Raiders do play Indianapolis and Miami, who is also fighting for that playoff position, and I think that the Raiders can beat both of them. Maybe not handily, but they can beat them for sure. And they just need to, you know, like I said, forget about this week, move on to New York, and then just, that's it. Move on to New York, be done with it, be over with it, and just go out, beat the Jets, and then go from there. That's all it is, ladies and gentlemen. Just go from there, so. 
All right, guys. Shitty video. Sorry. It's you know Raiders lose forty three to six last time I checked it. Hopefully they rebound well next week um, against the uh, against the Jets. And uh, yeah, nothing else more I can say there. Um, like I said in the beginning, thank you guys for watching. We appreciate it. Do me a favor while you're watching, uh, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, comment below on your thoughts of this video. Um, also, in the description below, there will be the CDR handicapping, I'm sorry, ownership experience with CDR racing. Uh, the phone number and the Patreon link is in the description. Give Cam a call and see how you can maybe triple or quadruple your money in just a month. Uh, you know, when joining his ownership experience when it comes to racehorses, uh, sulkies as I like to call them, harness racing horses. So we'll see you guys soon. Keep your heads up, Raider Nation. It's going to be okay. Uh, we'll talk to you guys soon. And as always, let's go, Raiders.